Let's talk Tanya for the second of Tamos. In yesterday's Tanya, we spoke about how in our relationship with God's attributes, they appear to have an independent identity. Yes, they are divine attributes, but we identify God's kindness as kindness, as severity as severity. What is the nature of our relationship with God's attributes? So in today's Tanya, the Alter Rebbe says, well, it's a fundamental relationship in as much as that that's where we're from. All of creation is through the attributes. And the Alter Rebbe actually illustrates this. In terms of God's emotional attributes, there are six primary emotional attributes. We know there are six days of creation. And every single day of the creation, all of the attributes were instrumental in creating, but there was one of the attributes that took the lead. So, for example, on Sunday, Sunday, we had, again, all of the divine attributes involved in the creation, but the attribute that was in the lead was the attribute of chesed, of kindness, which is why, what happens on Sunday? Yehi'er, we have light. Light, obviously, is an expression of God's kindness. At the same time, we also see over here an expression of God's severity or his power of restraint because the light that we have in this world is not unlimited light. It's a finite light, which tells us that there is givura, that there is also God's power of restraint was involved over here also. On Monday, the second day of creation, so what do we have over there? It says that uh, let the waters separate, the higher waters from the lower waters. That is the power of gevura, the power of separation, the power of severity, and more specifically, it means that the higher, the higher waters, which represent the higher pleasures, the spiritual pleasures, the spiritual realities, they become hidden from our world, which is a concept of gevura, of severity, of restraint. At the same time, there's chesed over there also, kindness over there also. Why? Because what is the purpose of this? The purpose is to create a world, as we know, a world that can be inhabited by human beings, and that is a part of God's kindness. And the same thing is in all the other days of creation. This is the nature of our relationship with God's attributes. They are actually that which is influencing our reality at every moment because also what happened in the six days of creation, it happens again every single week. Again, Sunday, the dominant uh, divine attribute is kindness. Monday, the, the, the dominant divine attribute is severity. But again, that's only the dominant attribute and all of them are involved at all times. And interestingly, the fact that the Alter Rebbe makes a point over here of emphasizing the idea that it's not only chesed on Sunday and not only gevura on Monday, but on every day, all of the attributes kind of interact with each other and there's this interplay. And um, with the, pr the product is a product of them working together is another sign of the fact that these qualities and attributes are all united with God. And why is that? Because here we have chesed and gevura, kindness and severity, which are two Opposing attributes, how do they work together in harmony so amazingly? And the answer is because they are bottled to, they are nullified to, and united with God, and therefore they're able to operate together in harmony, despite the fact that it would seem that they are natural opponents. So with this we understand how all of God's attributes and qualities, despite them all, God is still an absolute oneness, Achtus Abshuta, we understand a little, we believe it even more. As mentioned, it's not something we can fully understand. And in tomorrow's Tanya, we begin chapter 11, and we're going to start discussing the Asara Mamaris, the 10 utterances that come from God, and we'll explain how they too are all part of God's unity.